In this video, I will test the brand new rotary system, the Xtool RA2 Pro. This is a very different design to the more common roller-based rotary systems. It features a chuck, just like the one you find on a lathe. It should provide much more precision when engraving very detailed designs on cylinder-shaped object. With this machine, you can even engrave rings and spherical objects. I will compare the engravings made on rubber rollers and the rotary chuck and I will show you all the possible ways of using this attachment. It is truly a versatile tool. Watch the full video and if you like this tool, you can participate in a free giveaway and you might win one RA2 Pro for free. But more on that later in the video. The machine comes well packed and very well made. All the parts are made from solid metal and have a very premium feel. The rotary chuck is made from solid metal. I think it should be able to hold very heavy objects without problems. This part is used for supporting longer objects. In the package you get two sets of jaws for the chuck and on the internet you can also find 3D printing models for even bigger jaws. This part can be used to support spherical objects together with these holding pins. The system can also be used as a standard rubber roller attachment. It is a slightly bigger size than the standard X-Tool roller system. Installing the jaws on the chuck is just a matter of putting in a couple of screws. For the rotary system to fit under the machine, the machine needs to be raised using the spacer feet. First I will connect the rubber roller configuration to show you the difference between both types of systems in practice. The motor connects into the dedicated third axis on the control board. I will engrave a complex vector design of a motorcycle on this stainless steel cylinder. First, you need to set up the rotary system. I am using Lightburn software which is more difficult to set up but offers much more functionalities. You need to enable rotary and choose roller type for this application. The rotary axis is called Z-axis. Don't forget to focus the laser. Vector engravings require a lot of small rotating movements of the object. The rotation movements change a lot and because there is always some slippage between the object and the rollers, the position error accumulates and over time it becomes very large and the engraving gets skewed. Let's try to change the engraving optimization and see how it affects the output. The output is even worse. This can be avoided if you engrave the designs line by line like an inkjet printer like I showed it in one of my previous videos. This way, the rotation is only in one direction and the error is minimal and the output is perfect. But engraving vector designs using this method do not produce as nice of a result. Now let's transform the attachment into rotary chuck configuration. If you want to buy this rotary attachment or the Xtool D1 laser engraver, check the video description for a link where you will also find a discount coupon code so you can save some money. Attaching object into the jaws is done by rotating the toothed gear on the chuck and tightening with the included wrench like on an electric drill. You can also mount cylinders from the inside out. First, you need to measure the circumference of your object. Select the chuck rotary type and enable mirror output and enter the circumference of your object. 
we will talk about this value when engraving the next object. All this setup is much simpler in the Xtools Laserbox software. Make sure that the object is well balanced. The result is perfect and there are no defects. Let's try to engrave this heavy flashlight to see if the chuck can handle it. I used the support module since this flashlight is very heavy. Leveling is precise and you can use the included bubble level to make sure that the piece stays level. I measured the diameter and inserted it into the rotary settings. Now I will show you how I set this value. Remember the circumference value and draw a rectangle and set its height the same as the circumference. Then frame the job and see if it makes exactly one full rotation. If not, adjust the millimeters per rotation value until it is perfectly aligned. The engraving came out perfect. Now let's try to engrave a teacup with a handle. The handle gets in a way and hits the bottom plate. This can be solved by unscrewing the plate and rotating the gantry 180 degrees. Now you can raise the assembly, put something heavy on the other side, and the handle will not get in the way anymore. I have used too much power for this engraving as it is burning off too much material. But it looks cool. The power was too high, some details were lost, but otherwise the engraving is very good. Now let's attach these pins to see how we can make use of them. You can use them to grab small cylinders from the inside out so you can engrave the full surface without the jaws getting in the way of the laser head. You can also mount and engrave a small wedding ring. This bracket here is used to support the spherical objects. I engraved this plastic Christmas ornament because I couldn't find one made from glass. If you want to buy this rotary attachment or the Xtool D1 laser engraver, check the video description for a link where you will also find a discount coupon code so you can save some money. I had the power set up too high and there was some overburn in the corners, but it shows that with this rotary chuck, you can engrave spheres with ease. And now let's talk about the giveaway. The Xtool is giving away one free RA2 Pro to one lucky viewer of this video. All you need to do is to subscribe to my YouTube channel and like this video and leave a comment with your best idea of what you would like to engrave with this rotary attachment. You should also subscribe to the Xtool's YouTube channel. Link in the video description. The giveaway ends on 24th of May and the winning comment will be picked by the random comment picker and announced in my next video.